Whenever I think about old video games, I usually think about one of two things. Playing Pokemon Red on my purple Game Boy Color at night under the covers and one of those garbage old worm lights that didn't work worth a diddly dang damn. And playing Pac-Man. Pac-Man is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, video game character of all time. Right up there with uh, Luigi's Mansion 1 Luigi and the bartender from Root Beer Tapper. I mean, come on, what's not to love about this guy? He's just so simple and round and happy all the time. I mean, just look at this face. I wish I had that face. But instead I have this face. I remember all the time going to local arcades, pizza shops, the laundromat. Dude, what was it with every laundromat ever having a Pac-Man machine? I mean, like, I'm not complaining or anything because it gave my stupid little hairless adolescent ass something to play while my sweet saint of a mother was over there washing all my baseball shorts from all the baseball I was playing. I love you, mom. But like, what's a five-year-old gotta do to play some Galaga? Or some Mappy? Or even some, like, Tower Jiraka up in here. I'm pretty sure everyone and their mom has played and loved Pac-Man at some point, so, uh, I'm not gonna get crazy into it, but I gotta say, Pac-Man was a revolution. My dad loved it. My mom loved it. Even my aunt, who only loves cats and law and order, loves her the shit out of some Pac-Man. I think it's pretty safe to say that Pac-Man's, like, probably the most culturally recognizable video game character outside of, like, Mario and Steve nowadays. I mean, you gotta think, he has his own TV show. He had a song after him. Both of those are terrible, but they still happened. So, like I said earlier, I like me some Pac-Man. I've probably owned every conceivable version of Namco Museum in existence at one point, and I've also owned every weird random spinoff of Pac-Man game that they've ever released. I still have Pack picks Now, the only thing that I haven't owned, and I've always been dying to, is a full-fledged arcade machine. And ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to say that I still don't have one. But I do have this thing. This is the Pac-Man Quarter Arcade Machine from Numbskull Games. Now, if you haven't heard of these, they are complete one-to-one -one recreations of the original arcade cabinets, but at a fourth of the original size. So basically, you get all the fun without taking up all that extra space because your dog knocks everything over and you can't have anything nice. Now, Numbskull was gracious enough to send me over a unit to check out, and I'm super happy that they did because yesterday I woke up thinking, man, I really wish I had a way to play Pac-Man without leaving my bed. Wow! Thanks, Numbskull! Okay, so, here we are, back down at the couch again. I, uh, I tried to do this in the storage room because I really wanted to show off, like, the, the screen on this thing because I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera here, but, um, I, I tried to do that in there because I just, I didn't feel like being like every other YouTuber, but it just, it didn't really work out. I'm sorry. It's dark and wet in here. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys, um, the unboxing of this thing because I think it's actually going to be pretty cool, and, uh, as you can tell here, uh, I have the collector's edition because I'm so important. Yeah, so I know I've shown off like some, you know, camera shots and stills and whatnot of this so far, but um, I gotta say I'm really uh, kind of, I, I wanna say proud. I'm, I'm not, I can't say I'm proud, I don't work here. I like the packaging to this a lot. I, I think they did a really solid job. I mean, it feels like quality. I mean, that's, that's the first thing, you know, with the product. If you get something that, you know, isn't sh then you're probably in for a good time. Also, I'm sure that uh, Numbskull loves uh, that kind of language on this video. All right, so uh, any unboxing I've ever done on this channel, I don't actually remember a single time where I, I have a box cutter. Um, so I actually brought a box cutter this time. I'm really proud of myself. So uh, let's, uh, and we'll cut it again here. You probably can't even see that. <laughs> All right, so I've opened that up and Okay. Uh, here, ooh, this is a nice manual. I should probably get this off my crotch. Um, yeah, I know, you know, I'm not really showing you guys. This is actually a really nice manual, okay. So, that's a manual. Oh, now we have the certificate of authenticity so I can frame this and show off that I am indeed a real gamer. Ooh, and then on the top here we have what well, seems to be a micro USB cable. So that's micro USB. But also there's like this uh, coin or something. I guess that's part of the collector's edition. I think I actually might have said on the back. Um, 
Yes, there is a limited edition coin included. So that appears to be what this thing actually is. So that is pretty dope. Ooh, ooh, okay. This is not like, when you look at promotional material, this thing looks like tiny, <laughs> but it's really not. It's actually pretty decent size. So, oh God, I'm gonna break this. I'm just gonna grab the ass of the styrofoam and yank it out. All right, there it is. I probably should like turn this so you can actually see it. Um, wow, that is really solid looking. Okay, um. Oh my God, the button's clicking. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's so cool. I like how I'm more amused by this than I am the uh, playing the actual game. Wow, this is like really, really solid quality. Okay, so, um. Get that off there. So I know that you have to actually plug this thing in to, uh, you know, make it operate. That's what the cable was down there for. I'm gonna drop this on camera. That's what the cable down there was for earlier. So it looks like it plugs in the back here. This looks like a volume rocker down here. I don't even know how well you can actually, you know, see that. Power switch is here. Yeah, so so far without actually having turned it on, um, you know, I can't really talk about the screen right now, but I gotta say all these buttons feel like Awesome. Um, I don't even know if you need anything with these. I imagine, you know, this actually starts the game uh, down here, but uh, you also got your joystick here, which I thought would kind of feel weird, um, but it's got that nice little, like, I don't know if you can hear that or not. Let me put it close to the mic. But you guys didn't watch this video to hear me babble about this machine. I imagine you also want to see what the gameplay on this thing looks like as do I. I've heard these screens are awesome on here. Um, so I'd like to do my best to show that off. I don't know how well it's going to show up, um, but we're going we're gonna to try to figure that out together. All right, so got it plugged in right here in the back and I'm ready to turn it on finally. So let's do it. Oh, that's cool, the marquee lights up. I didn't even realize that. All right, here, let me see if I can pull this up so you can actually get an idea of what that looks like. It's doing all the debug coding and everything. Oh, that's so cool. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of hard to shoot video of. I will do the best I can. So, first off, like I already said, that thing feels nice. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna assume that these buttons actually mean something now. Okay, that's cool. Let's try this again. Oh my God, that's cool. Uh, yeah, that's Pac-Man. I'm honestly shocked at how good this feels. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, whenever I first saw these things shown off, I was a little concerned. I thought like, there's no way that this little nub of a joystick feels that good, but uh, I'm extremely happy to be proven wrong. I actually thought this was fairly comfortable. I mean, in sitting back, you know, like this and playing it, Ain't that bad. And one thing I want to mention is this does actually have a rechargeable like uh, lithium ion battery in it. So I don't know exactly how long it lasts. I don't know how long it takes to charge, but that is nice that that's included in there. So if you do want to take this to various places to play it, you certainly can do that. In my opinion, I think Numskull like nailed this. As, as far as a concept of something to do, it's cool. I think still playing on like a full size arcade cabinet is probably the better way to go. But you know, obviously if you're limited on space, if you want something that doesn't cost nearly as much, this is a cool alternative. <laughs> I, um, I, again, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I do find it, you know, fairly comfortable to play. I love like the light up marquee. The artwork on the side is, I mean, down to the T, it is perfect. Like even the weird like 
awkward hand-drawn tracing. It's, it's good. It's really good. So I want to say thank you again, Numskull, for sending me one of these things. It is awesome. Everything from the artwork to the screen quality to the sound quality to even just even just like having the little feet down here on the bottom like th this is nice having these little rubber tips so you don't you know scratch up any of your nice furniture yeah i mean the only question i really have about this unit is you know where's my galaga one hmm? i wonder what daisy has to say about that oh she's pissed